Hey everyone, it's Dr. Shalini Gupta at the Dermatology Laser and Vein Center, and today I wanted to talk to you about lips. So lips are one of the most beautiful features um, on our face, and as we age, the lips do thin. We lose uh, fat from multiple areas of our face, and our lips also begin to lose their volume. And you can see that if you go back and look at your pictures from when you were younger, you'll be surprised to see that your lips were actually more voluminous and more luscious um, as you were younger. Now, some patients, of course, have thin lips genetically, and that's fine as well. But even in that case, they are thinning. So I feel like everyone can use a little bit of lip filler. Um, and it's not something to be scared of because I think a lot of patients do get really worried about the lips just looking kind of ducky or funny or unnatural. And what we try to do is really just restore the natural shape and volume that one had previously to their lips. In some cases, of course, patients want a much more enhanced lip and we can do that as well. So I really try to listen to the patient and make sure that we give them the look that will suit them, look good on them, and that they also desire. Um, so there are a few different ways to accomplish lip rejuvenation. The one I've been mostly talking about so far has been lip filler, which is basically adding volume back to the lips. But there are other issues that occur as well, such as lip lines, and that um, occurs with aging from sun damage, just from our loss of collagen and elasticity in the skin. Smokers tend to get lip lines more quickly, and patients who tend to purse their lips a lot or um, also drink out of straws will notice lip lines starting to occur sooner. So in that case, I like to use a touch of Botox just to stop that lip from being able to purse as much, and it really does make a nice difference. Botox uh, does not add volume to the lips. It, would, it just stops the lips from being able to move quite as much. Um, and it'll last for a few months and then it wears off, but in the process, it does train you not to pucker as much and to make that movement as much to help reduce the wrinkling. In conjunction with that, of course, you can do Botox. You can also have procedures such as Ultherapy, Thermage, Thermi Smooth, um, and Exilis Ultra, which help to further tighten the skin around the mouth area and rejuvenate your own collagen. These procedures don't have any recovery time. Some are done as a single treatment and some are done in multiple steps. Um, but patients do love these procedures to help tighten the skin and shorten that distance between the nose tip and the top of the lip as we get older, that distance lengthens um, and we look older as a result. So if we can shorten that distance, it really makes a nice difference. Um, so yeah, lips are definitely one of my favorite areas to treat because it's just so artistic and we can really get a nice shape uh, to the cupid's bow, to the vermilion, and just make them look really nice and luscious. Um, besides fillers, we can also use threads um, to outline the lips a little bit better and add a little bit of natural volume. The threads stimulate your own collagen. They do dissolve in about 18 months or so, but they help your lips to be more volumized long term. And uh, you can always combine threads with fillers, with Botox, with skin tightening procedures. And then also we have the skin resurfacing procedures such as Fraxel laser, Venus Viva, we now have Morpheus 8 and Morpheus Prime, and uh, we also have the fractional CO2 laser and full-blown skin resurfacing. So depending upon the severity of the lines, the laxity, and the damage present, we can choose which of these technologies to use. Um, we can also be very mindful of a patient's budget and also the desired final outcome and have a nice marriage of those two and come up with like an ideal procedure and plan for each patient. It's a very individualized. So there's really no cookie cutter approach to um, one patient's rejuvenation process versus another. And that's really what's exciting about our work, I feel, is that it is truly like an art studio and we have all these different tools in our palette that we can choose to get to our final result. 
um, and always extremely mindful of keeping it really natural and beautiful.